guess to give a little backstory, we spoke on Christian Woods maybe like a year ago. It was a story that was floating around during draft during the draft time. It was a picture of him. He was dating a white girl. And he I think that Christian Woods, he didn't he even I can't remember all the time I hear if he didn't go drafted at all. Yeah. And he ended up had to become a walk on. I think that no, made no, him I think he well, he got he, drafted he super late. Draft. He wasn't the top draft. Yeah, he wasn't the top. So draft. the girl was she with left. him and thinking he was going to be like a lottery pick. And he yeah. he went lower in the like draft, the second round or something like that. Of course. So for people who don't understand, it's a huge difference in the payoff after you get from from one to what is it? When it's that when the lottery, they, so one to ten. The payout from one to ten is different from uh, eleven to twenty. What is it? I mean, eleven to thirty-two, and then you talk about the second round is completely different. Mm-hmm. So with all that being said, she if you she in it for the money, you kind of go to second round. Everybody who get drafted in second round don't necessarily even make the team. Some of them do, some of them don't. And Christian Woods have had he's been he ain't a crazy journey man, but he didn't played on a couple teams now. The team that he kind of he played on Houston, he 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 did decent in Houston. Dallas it was kind of like iffy, and now he played for the Lakers. So he did kind of found his way with the Lakers, but he's like I said, to, like he went to another team too. Well, those are yeah. three that kind of stand out the most was the Houston and the Dallas situation. So. And he didn't get he didn't got him a, like a decent payday with oh did he get it with the Dallas he got it with the, he got it with the Mavs so speed up this story a little bit he's dating a popular she's popular Instagram model and she's a popular OnlyFans model and I think was it uh Yasmin Yasmin Lopez and realistically when she uh, showed like she never she's one of these people who yeah she showed that she was pregnant but she never showed who she got pregnant by and a lot of people I think she was doing videos with the dude um Jimmy Stacks and he's like a super popular dude for his OnlyFans stuff because he do stuff with the midgets he do stuff with the girls with they got bad BBL so he's kind of like super popular in creating content on social media but he's really popular for his OnlyFans material because he do videos with all types of women like he don't discriminate at all from big to small whatever the case may be you got any type of little deformed like your, your lips is too crazy or whatever he do videos with all of them so a lot of people thought she was pregnant by him the whole time i don't know i seen a joke on social media i don't know if this is true i seen somebody say that she got mo- multiple kids and trayvon diggs is her first baby father i don't know if that's true or not Damn. and shout out to trayvon diggs i do want to play a clip of him and his son with funny marco oh my god this little boy is hilarious mm-hmm. he got dog, some kids just got natural personality though i swear to god trayvon diggs son is a goddamn superstar in the making. This little boy is like his timing is hilarious and everything. But I'll play that clip a little bit later. But anyway, so to go back into this story, Christian Woods and her, this is her baby father. So the last time she showed that she was pregnant, her baby father was Christian Woods. And again, you got to kind of like pay attention. Like if you don't really pay attention to basketball, you probably don't know who Christian Woods was or you don't even really get to see his personality. But he's a silly, like he tall, like he like damn near seven feet tall. He's super linky, like super goofy. Like he's like a fun dude. Like he even get mic'd up in some of the Lakers games and he just like, he's silly as hell. You on the court, you on the sideline, just being super goofy. So I'm kind of like, damn, I ain't even know you were striking him like this. Cause listen, what I'm saying, this woman is a beautiful woman. I got one of her leaked videos on my on my phone. Cause she, like I said, she's popular on OnlyFans. She, she, when you get super popular, somebody gonna have your leaks so like what i'm telling you she is to that category where people leak her only fan stuff so any case long story short to speed it up a little bit she basically and this is the crazy thing is she climbed his fence and like we course like i said he played in he played for the lakers so he's somewhere in los angeles in the cut with one of these like you know metal the, fence. like one of them high metal fences like with the, at the top where it gets shot so I, I, you kind of can't really tell because the video recorded from some distance but it looked like she even got some booty shorts on or she got a short skirt on where like where you can see her cheeks kind of hanging out while she climbing over this fence, make it over the fence and then and scratch his car up crazy. So one of his, one of her homegirls tried to get ahead of the story, I guess before this video came out. She basically was trying to sit here and say he came to pull it up to her house and try to threaten her to um to get her get his son. But basically he was like, oh you left my son with some random girl i don't even know this girl they don't even know each other because i'm being she i guess she on one of these baddie shows or whatever the case may be i don't necessarily i'm not super familiar with all these people but this girl i guess she's on the baddie show so she tried to post it and try to sit here and say he threatened her with the shovel and we when i seen it i'm kind of like you don't know of course we don't know these people we not living in their house so you don't necessarily know how they move behind closed doors but just like i said from the videos i've seen christian was to t- hear him talk he don't seem like that type of dude no of course it can we don't necessarily know because a lot of n- people in the nba they got crazy domestic violence uh situations but you can kind of like some of them it's kind of like okay i can kind of believe it like it's no shade but you can believe with miles bridges you can kind of believe it you didn't even have to see the video or the pictures of his ex i mean of his wife that nigga look like it. yeah he, he he looked like it even his rap videos the way he tried to portray himself it kind of like i get it even when you and of course people resurface that when the warriors and the hornets got into it 
was it last week? And and Draymond said something about like oh how they tried it, and I seen some people bring it up. Wasn't even in it. I, I, Grant that, Williams was in it. Exactly, but I think Miles Bridges was the one. I think it started with Miles Bridges, but Miles Bridges didn't do nothing. I want to say he did. I think Miles Bridges was the one trying to go for the level for the layup. I think I, I can't remember. I can't necessarily remember, but I seen somebody's thanking Draymond like thank you because I forgot all about again. He can't even believe Miles Bridges. His name came up after that situation because people like I can't even believe Miles Bridges still in the NBA after that stuff. Well, bro, his wife is still with him. That happened to uh, I'm not uh, sitting here saying what he did was right, but his wife ain't leave him. They're still together. And like whatever charges he got up, she's still with him. They ain't divorced. You ain't seen no no storylines that come like, oh, with Miles Bridges' wife to file for a divorce or whatever. No, that ain't never came up. So they still are together. But like I said, going back into the Christian Woods thing, the girl, she climbed the fence and she keyed his car. Up. Like, I'm talking about bad, OD. Bad. I'm talking about, she literally drew a goddamn Peyton on this man's car. That's how bad. And like, you can hear it. Like, you can hear the video and you can hear her, like, I am not going to play it because that shit going to hurt your ears. But somebody scraping keys into a goddamn car hood. And it ain't no Pinto that she scratched. No, it. it was a Benz. So she went crazy on that jump. So, so of course, and the crazy thing, I think she took his tags too. So when she, I guess, you know, somebody, somebody was in the house recording it and you could hear them talking. But then the crazy thing is after I posted the video, somebody did, and that's why I love social media, like especially uh, posting content. Somebody sent me a video of she bit the girl, the baby, one of his, his other, I guess he may got two kids. She bit one of his other baby mothers or his girlfriend's eyeball. So what? I can, I'm show you, I swear, I'll show you the picture of the joint. Nigga, this shit was The crazy. girl did? Yes. Oh shit. I better leave them crazy bitches alone. Man, I'm gonna show you the joint. Somebody send me the joint. Send me a picture of this nigga. Look at look at her eye. This day they dig that crazy bitch. She bit her eye. Yeah, that shit look like it looked like a damn like a shock bite almost. So she bit so she crazy bitch. So, like I said, so realistically, that I guess because the original, the video of from the the baddies girl started to surface first, and then I think his sister got in the comment section. I think it was at the neighborhood talking. She was like, "I'm not about to let y'all sit here and play with my brother." So that kind of soon as his, I guess his sister leaked the video, the footage of the girl climbing the fence and and po and, and um and and busting his uh I mean and, and scratching his Jono and scratching his car because as soon as that then then his name like people started to defend him whatever case because at first people was dragging him because the way that girl I don't necessarily know he never in that video he never threatened the girl he did have like the shovel in his hand and she put the extra sauce on it but then after that video leak of her climbing the fence then everybody was kind of like all right he was in the right like if this girl that climbed his fence and violated his car she got locked up and he trying to basically sit here and say he was trying to come and get his son. So uh, what is it? CPS won't take their kid because the kid was in supposed to be in the mother's care. So if the mother get locked up, CPS coming to take the kid. Hold on. My question, right? If he, if he threatened her with a shovel, why would you jump over his fence and his property to kids car if he threatened you with a shovel? So, uh, so no, so it was two different girls. So the girl, so he was the girl who said she, he threatened her with a shovel was the girl who was supposed to be babysitting his kid. Oh, uh, okay. All right. But he was basically trying to come and get his kid because he knew that the baby mother just got locked up. Gotcha. So he, so I mean, the story kind of, so it kind of made sense. So it was just like, it, and it was a lot to that. So I gotta say that video, the this, and that's why sometimes I get for for all the dudes, especially if you're dealing with women who show you some sign of crazy, you kind of better. It's better to keep those videos and keep them text messages so you can kind of always save yourself. I understand sometimes it may take up the storage in your phone. Nigga. You better delete something else and not delete them situations because sometimes you need them. And I be thinking about that sometimes, like, no, you, I, you know, because sometimes you know, of course, I'm for people you got iPhones, you know, you can delete your text messages and it will open up storages but sometimes you better be careful if that woman shows you just sometime or too much of crazy you just may just be like i may delete something else let me delete some other videos or some songs or something else off my phone i can't delete these text messages just to save yourself because that video saved him like that no well, that could have went bad for him but if you had to pick and choose like damn this is a torch video Oh, this crazy man! I, I'm saving that crazy, and I'm deleting that video. I'm sorry, I don't care. I'll torch that video. You better just email it to yourself and delete it out your phone, and just save it in the email or something so you can watch it again. But hell no, nah, I ain't taking my chances with that one. She was OD. Crazy bitch.